hope you're all well. One of the biggest questions I get is I've bought a font or I've installed a font and I've come into Design Space and it doesn't look anything like it looks when I bought it or I downloaded it. Quite often you want a font to look like this. Most of the time, however, when you actually write it out in Design Space, it looks like this. Uh, definitely not as exciting. So today I'm going to show you how you can go from this to this. So today we're going to be using the font Bohema Spirit which I've got from Creative Fabrica and as you can see it looks all very beautiful. There's arrows, there's dream catchers, there's roses. It all looks super duper and pretty amazing. However, when you then write it in Design Space, this is what it looks like. We need to do a little bit of work to it. Unfortunately, Design Space isn't able to naturally just get all those glyphs and those swirls and those characters up. You have to do it through your computer. The other reason is a lot of these fonts have hidden characters as well and they may have several of the same letter with different characters in it. So you may have an E with a swirl or an E with an arrow or an E with a heart. And of course Design Space doesn't know which one you want. So Design Space will give you the basic font and then we need to go and get all those characters. You need to open the character map so you need to search for it and normally it comes straight up. We are just going to start typing in Bohema. We've got Bohema ornaments there. So this font actually comes in two parts. You've got Bohema ornaments, which we will be using. And these are images that you can bring in. And there's Bohema spirit as well, which is the actual font. If we scroll through, you can start to see all those different characters with the arrows and the dream catchers. They're all very, very beautiful. Now this font, they've got all the characters there when you open it up. You will find with some fonts, you open this up and it's just very basic. You're not seeing anything different. If that happens, you want to come down to group by, go down to Unicode sub range and then scroll all the way down to private use characters. Any characters, glyphs, swirls, etc., that are hidden, you will then find in here. So I want a B with a dream catcher, so I'm just going to click on it and choose select. I also want an A with an arrow to it, so I'm going to choose select. Some of these are just stunning, and sometimes you need to think about how you're going to incorporate them. They don't always work all together and it also depends on the word that you're, you're creating as well. So sometimes you need to think about how glyphy your text is going to be. I think that's it for me with the Bohemia Spirit. So I'm just going to go to copy. Back in Design Space, we can grab a text box. Now you want to make sure that your font is set to the font that you've just chosen in the character map. If you've got a different font up there, uh, the characters won't look the same. You may get question marks, you may get different uh, glyphs. So you do want to make sure you've got the same fonts for both. Now you used to be able to right click on your computer and just choose paste. You now can't do that in Design Space. So you need to hold down your control key and then press V and this will bring your glyphs into Design Space. You want to check the font size. So my font size of my text is currently set to 100. So I want to do the same with these ones. And I'm also going to go to Advanced and Ungroup to Letters because I'll be able to move them around. If we go back into the character map, and I just scroll up to Bohema Ornaments, I can then choose the pictures that I want to add in as well. We can copy, grab a text box, and again go to Control and V. Now you'll see that I didn't change my font, it's still on Bohema Spirit. So if I click on my fonts and I then choose Bohema Ornaments, 
the correct pictures will then come up. The reason I'm using the character map to get these is that if I just do it as a text font, it's going to take me for ages to actually find which pictures I want. I can type in letters and numbers and it will come up with the corresponding picture, but I actually find it quicker just to go straight into character map. Again, I want to make these each 100 by adjusting the font size. So now I need to actually create my text. As you can see, these are not all together, so it's not scripted the way it should be. Again, this is something that we have to manually do in Design Space. There's two ways to do it. You can adjust the line space, so we can bring the line space closer together. Depending on the font, sometimes this works really well. Other times you may find that your E and your A are exceptionally close, but your U and your L are exceptionally far away from each other. Another way to do it is go to Advanced and Ungroup to Letters. If we then click on the A, I can move this using my mouse. Chances are it's going to move around. So all I'm going to do is use my arrow key just to bring it closer to my E and keep it in its correct position. And I'm going to do this with each of the letters. If I need to move it slightly, I can then do so with my mouse. So I want to change the A for this arrow A. I've moved everything together, but I haven't done anything with it. So all I'm going to do is select all the pieces I want to move and then just move my arrow key so that I've moved them out the way. I'm then going to take away this A and bring this one up. I want it to overlap the E. I can then highlight from my U downwards and again just use my arrow key to bring it in line with that arrow and I'm keeping everything in line with each other. I'm going to remove this B and bring this one over. Now you may find that when you bring it over, it doesn't quite sit the way you want it to. It's not quite how you want it to be. Don't be afraid to manipulate it slightly. If you need to move it around a little bit, then do so. It will still look the way it's meant to look. Only you know how it's meant to be. To me, that looks absolutely fine. Others may say, oh, actually, I can tell that the B is not completely straight. Who says the B needs to be straight? It's what you like, it's what you want. With these characters, I'm just going to go to Advanced and Ungroup to Letters. And I can then bring these over and just work out where I want them to be. And I can make them bigger and again, I can manipulate them as well. If I want to bring this one over, I can. And it's just playing and working out how you want things to be. Do you want to add bits? Do you want to take bits away? It's completely up to you. So I am really happy with that. I'm going to highlight everything and I'm actually just going to make it bigger to begin with just to make sure that all my joins are where I want them to be. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just going to highlight it all. Now, there are a couple of options when it comes to fonts. If your font is like this and you have got pieces overlapping and it's all cursive and you've got, as I say, bits that overlap, you want to use the weld tool. Now, welding is like super gluing. Once it's welded and you have saved, you cannot undo that weld. I always, always say, if you're going to weld an item, save it first and then weld it because it means you can go back to it and if you want to change it, you can do. If you weld and save, you then can't change it. If you don't weld this text, when the machine comes to cut it out, every join will be cut. So you definitely want to make sure if you are overlapping text or you are overlapping pictures and you want them all to cut out in the same colour, vinyl or iron on, whatever it is you're going to use, you want to make sure that you are welding them. So if we just click on the weld button, that is now one complete cut. You can see that our layers panel has now just become 
one layer. That's all one layer and we can take it to our make and we can then cut it in whatever material we want to. As always, I hope this tutorial has been helpful. If you've got any comments, then please leave them below and I will see you all again soon. Please do subscribe and please do hit that bell to be notified of when I've got new videos up. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.